you know Charles Manson. <laughs> 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 a guy goes to the doctor. <laughs> he says, Doctor, I don't know if my wife has TV or VD. The doctor says, Jake's around the bed. If she coughs, fuck her. <laughs> suppositories. The man comes back a few days later and goes, Doctor, these suppositories ain't doing a damn thing. The doctor says, are you sure you're taking them the right way? He says, of course I'm taking them the right way. What do you think I'm doing? Shoving them up my ass? <laughs> Jewish man's walking down the road. He finds a lamp. He picks it up. He rubs the lamp. A genie pops out. The genie says, I shall grant you one wish. The old Jew takes out a crumpled up map, unfolds it, and he says, you see this part of the world? It's called the Middle East. There's been nothing but war and bloodshed there for centuries. I wish for you to bring peace to this part of the world. The genie says, even with all my power, I'm helpless. Can I grant you a different wish? And the old Jew says, well, I've been married to the same Jewish girl for over 50 years. Never once had she given me a blow job. I wish you could get her just once before I die to give me one blow job. And the genie goes, Can I have another look at that map? <laughs> be doing that on Kelly Ripper's show. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> A guy has the words I love you tattooed to his stick. I don't believe it. He goes home to his wife. His wife says, stop trying to put words in my mouth. <laughs> what I did on the Merv Griffin show. <laughs> see, now, now, see, this is something different than the last time I was here. Usually, if I say Merv Griffin, you go, fuck Merv Griffin. <laughs> fuck Merv Griffin. Thank you. Goes, it is? He goes, yeah. 
let me ask you something. Uh, do you like Italian food? And he goes, I like Italian food. He goes, every Monday we cook a big Italian dinner. And do you like movies? And he goes, yeah, I like movies. Every Tuesday in the auditorium, brand new movies. And do you like baseball? He goes, I love baseball. He goes, every Wednesday in the yard we have a big baseball game. And uh, let me ask you something. Are you a homosexual? And he goes, no. And he goes, ooh, you're not going to like Thursday. <laughs> salesman goes to a farmhouse. The farmer, and he says, you have some place I can sleep. The farmer says, well, I'll let you sleep in the barn. And so he goes to sleep in the barn. Next morning, uh, the, he's leaving, and the farmer said, so how was it in the barn? And he goes, it was great. I was talking to all the animals. He goes, you were, what, were you, what do you mean you were talking? He goes, I was talking to the animal. I spoke to your cow. She said her name was Elsie, and you milk her every morning at 7 o'clock. He goes, that's absolutely true. And he goes, and I spoke to your horse. He says his name is Sam, and you put a little bucket around his face, and he eats oats. And he goes, that's absolutely, that is. And then he goes, and I spoke to the sheep. And the farmer said, no sheep alive. <laughs> if you see, because he fucks the sheep. It, it's kind of a subtle joke. <laughs> to think about it, but the farmer fucks the sheep. So, if the salesman was actually talking to the, uh, to the sheep, the sheep would say, well, uh, the farmer fucks us. He, he picks us up by our hind legs and fucks us. I just thought you should go. Oh, you're here late. Uh, and the, the sheep would say the farmer comes. <laughs> yeah, he in and the joke makes no sense on the back. So, can you say fuck Affleck one more time? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, a man walks into his son's room. He goes, son, you keep masturbating. You're going to go blind. The son goes, I'm over here, dad. <laughs> because uh, the father walked so many times that he went blind. <laughs> And he went blind. And that's why he couldn't see her or something. You gotta, uh, tonight you'll have to think about it. Do the ugu. Okay. A guy picks up a hooker, they go up to the hotel room. And the uh, hooker's taking her clothes off, she turns around. She sees the guy in the corner of uh, the room, and the guy says, how much is this going to cost me? And she goes, $200. And so she goes back to taking her clothes off. She looks, and he's jerking off in the corner of the room. She goes, what are you jerking off for? She, he goes, yeah, for $200. You think I'm going to let you have the easy one? 
one more fuck ass up. Sound it makes when I try. 
babies come from? And the mother says, oh, I'm a stork brings them. And the little boy says, who fucks the stork? Uh -huh. They say, this is the hospital. Your wife was in a car accident. So the man rushes to the hospital. Doctor comes out and goes, sir, your wife was in a terrible car accident. She's badly mangled and deformed. She's going to remain paralyzed from the neck down for the rest of her life. She'll need 24-hour medical care, of which your insurance company's not going to cover. You're going to have to bathe her and feed her and change her diapers, because she'll have no control over her bladder or her bowels. And the husband breaks down crying. He goes, oh, it is horrible. And the doctor says, I'm just fucking with you. She's dead. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>